رمضان كريم عليكم من برنامج رمضان كريم مع ميكو طول عمري عايش في مصر وما خدتش بالي الفرق ما بين رمضان في مصر او في لندن ومن احسن الحاجات ان انا عايز اوريكم رمضان في دوله مش مسلمه بس فيها مسلمين كتير بمختلف الطبقات ومختلف الجنسيات كل واحد بيقضي رمضان مختلف رغم ان هم بيتوحدوا في الاخر على ترابيزه واحده بتلم كل الجنسيات وكل المستويات عشان كده انا عايز اروح اشوفهم بعيونهم واقضيها معاهم واوريكم الموضوع ايه لان برنامجنا بس عن الناس مش عن الحدث ورمضان كريم مع ميكو يوم الجمعة أكون في الجامع اللي هو إيست لندن مصر واللي هو جامع شرق لندن اللي هو من أول جامع تعمل في لندن وهنعرف أكتر مع سلمان سحبنا اللي هنقول لنا النهاردة وماسك It, it became uh, like the Middle East here. Yeah, <laughs> so a bit, we got a glimpse of the Yeah, we got a taste of it. But unlucky for us, it's long hours, but alhamdulillah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been very challenging, like 19-hour parts. Definitely challenging. Yeah, and it just strengthened your spirit. So, Mr. how are you keeping up doing all the activities for the mosque and all of, doing all of this while you fast? Um, that is a very big challenge, actually. Um, so I'm showing a lot of journalists around the mosque and center, speaking to Muslims, non-Muslims, uh, trying to do my day-to-day -day jobs, but also, um, you know, uh, trying to promote our kind of religion, promote Ramadan to the wider community, etc. So it's a very big balancing act. Okay, so tell us. I, we know, I know your name is Salman. Yes. Tell us, you were born here in Britain? Yes, I was born here in Britain. And uh, what did you study and what are your like, job role in here? In the um, I'm the media officer for the mosque. I studied, I actually studied something completely different to what I'm doing now. I studied computer games design. Wow. Um, but I, I kind of, uh, you know, thought, okay, this seems more interesting. I want to work for the community, help my community. I could have been, um, working for a games developer right now and you know I'd have no interactions with my community no. um, and the way I saw it was uh, you know that's not a very you know I could earn reward for this world or I can re earn reward for the hereafter I chose the hereafter no, um, no, so, so, yeah so I'm I was born and brought up here I'm a, I'm a Londoner um, I've actually never been to my home country wow. so I've you know I've, I've traveled many places but I've never been to my home country so that just shows you how much of a Londoner I am, yeah, um, yeah and I, I really, really love what I do here. It's amazing here. Our community here is a bit big now, which is fantastic. Yes. You feel home, you don't really need... The Muslims in Britain uh, equate to about 3 million Muslims. Wow. So they've grown over the years. I think since the last census in 2011, 
it was it stood at I think 2.7 uh, million Muslims, and now it's growing as well. Wow, um, and a majority of that, uh, you know, a percentage of that are young people, people who are born here. Um, like yourself. Like myself. My forefathers came to this country as uh, economic migrants. Uh, they thought they would work here and then they'd go back, but it never they, happened and they settled here. They yeah. like the weather here. Oh. Um, call for prayer is going right now for Jumbo. Um, so we'll get about 7,000 7, people praying today. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن a lot of sheikhs and a lot of being man of religion they went places that far that Muslims didn't reach yeah. before to spread Islam yes, like Africa that's why my you know my mum's home country which is Bangladesh because of the uh, the shuyukh coming from Yemen and uh, out of the Middle East they came they settled in places like Bangladesh India etc you know that's how the nation you know came to Islam so Tell us about the activities in here. Um, well, this is unlike any other mosque that you would probably find in the country. We have over 33 projects and services for the community. Um, so there's different services ranging from counseling services to legal advice services, um, which are used by Muslims and non-Muslims. We have school based here. We have uh, a whole building dedicated for women and sisters. Um, there's gyms here to make sure the community stay fit and healthy. Wow, um, that's great. There's a, you know, so the women have their own women-only gym. There's a men's gym. Um, a lot of the time in our community, we love to eat, <laughs> but we don't hate working out. Yeah. We don't exercise. Never. Yeah. Tell it to the Arabs. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
everyone eats a lot but nobody wants to exercise and they think yeah I'll do it someday and then in the end they get heart conditions yeah and so we try and tackle that by giving them access to gyms usually sisters don't go to gyms because it's because mixed it's mixed and they don't like the you know environment yeah. so there's a women's only gym alhamdulillah they, they come to it they, they you know they stay healthy mashallah this, yeah. this is it's, it's great it's fast like activities that is done here yes you're ramadan you got everything you know from obviously parents and then the most yes so changing the ramadan in the last 29 years for you what did you see changing really um the the change that i've seen i think is um people have kind of shifted from a cultural islam to a more kind of a uh, to 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 a, a um, an understanding of islam that is more pure um so before there, there used to be lots of cultural practices mixed in with the religion yeah um, and, and as our community became more educated access to knowledge access to scholars they've you know slightly understood that okay this is what the religion is this is what culture is yeah and so it's kind of shifted um some other changes i've seen in terms of practical changes is um i've seen ramadan in like december as i was growing up and it's yeah. now in july in july in exactly. summer it's a, very much. it's a challenge it is so so hard for some people the, Considering you lived here all your life, which I haven't, yeah. I, I, I was like, I lived all my life pretty much in Egypt. I've been wow. here like the last seven years. Right, right. Um, I would like to know, like, the people's knowledge, did it develop, like, the non-Muslim people in Britain, did the knowledge change by time? Of, of our community? Of Ramadan, of community? Yes, I think. When I, because when now I, I see Ramadan in Tesco and I don't think yes. that was no no no, no. Make sections now yes all the supermarkets all the places they make sections and that's, for Ramadan you know that's because they stand to make a hundred million pounds from oh. Ramadan that's a lot of money um, what has happened is our as our community has grown it's become slightly more mainstream and it's accepted with any other community and um, and and it's a natural evolution you know like i said we, we when our, our forefathers first came here we were just to work and not to stay but now we're here third fourth generation we're born here we're part of society here we love this country you know we love um, the rest of uh, you know uh, the the community because it's such a vibrant community there are people from all different parts of the world here. You will never find it anywhere else. You know, maybe in Mecca you'll find it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, when you're doing so Umrah, Hajj, yes. But, but yeah. in, you know, in any other kind of situation, you don't get that many people. There's only one other place that's like New York, which is comparable. Which is, but we still hear more into Islam yeah. more than that. Thank <laughs> you. 